An old woman saved four young wolf cubs. You won't believe how they returned the favor years later. The story happened many years ago in a little village in Russia. Maria had spent her entire life in the village. She had been born there and grown up with her mother and her father. Then, when she was old enough, she started her own family with a man called Ivan. Maria and Ivan loved each other very much and eventually decided that they wanted a child of their own. Not long after, Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby girl whom they called Sophia. The family was happy for many years, with Maria, Ivan, and Sophia creating many happy memories together. As the years went by and Sophia grew older, she eventually found a man whom she fell in love with. The two were married, but because of her husband's job, Sophia had to move away from her mother and father, as her new husband had a very important job in the finance industry and needed to be closer to the city. Maria and Ivan were happy that their daughter was starting her own life and told her not to worry about them. But a few years later, Ivan became very sick, and he sadly passed away after 40 years of marriage. Maria was left on her own. At first, Sophia insisted that Maria should move in with her and her husband so that they could look after the elderly woman and so that she wouldn't be on her own. But Maria refused as she didn't want to leave the village that had been her home for her entire life. Luckily, even though she was now on her own, there were still people in the village willing to help her out. As she had been a well-loved teacher at the local school during her younger years when she worked, a man called Dimitri had been one of her students, and he often visited the elderly woman to make sure that she was okay. If anything needed fixing around the house, he would happily do it for her. Along with being a bit of a handyman, Dimitri also enjoyed going hunting. He would often trek into the nearby forest to find suitable game to hunt, and he would sometimes share the meat from his kills with Maria. One day, Maria decided that the fence around her garden was looking a bit worse for wear, so she asked Dmitri to fix it up for her. The kind-hearted man agreed but told the elderly woman that he also had a surprise for her. Once Dmitri arrived at Maria's house, she soon saw what the surprise was. In his arms, a hunter was carrying four tiny puppies. He told Maria that he had found them in the forest, all on their own, and that their mother had been nowhere in sight. Dimitri then explained that while he would be happy to look after them himself, he already had two other dogs at home that wouldn't be too welcoming to the tiny canines. However, he forgot to mention that the small canines weren't actually dogs, but were wolf cubs. After getting over her shock, Maria agreed to take the puppies in herself, as she had been wanting to get a puppy for a while to keep her company, and she could save these four lonely babies at the same time. Maria took the pups into her home and immediately found four old bowls which she used to put the animals' food in. The elderly woman emptied a can of meat into each bowl, and the pups were happy to quickly munch it down. But being growing animals and wild ones, unbeknownst to Maria, the puppies stared at the old woman as if asking for more food. Maria chuckled and joyfully obliged the cubs until they were finally full. Once the young animals were satisfied, Maria laid down some old blankets for them, and the little pups quickly fell fast asleep in their new beds. Once the cubs were asleep, Maria left them in the house and went back outside to thank Dmitri for finding the adorable babies. Dmitri realized that Maria believed the puppies to be dogs. However, he thought that while they were still young, they would not do any harm, and he could find a suitable replacement for when the cubs were strong enough to survive on their own. Later that evening, as Dmitri finished up his work on the fence, Maria went and thanked him for his hard work and for always being around to help her out. She then gave the kind-hearted man a bag of sweets for him to take back to his children before bidding him a good night for the evening. Once Dmitri had gone, Maria went back inside her home, where she discovered that all four cubs were awake and creating quite a bit of a mess. Still, overcome with the joy of having some new company, Maria couldn't stay mad at them for long. She cleaned up the mess and then realized that she needed to give each of the puppies a name. She decided to call the four cubs Teddy, Rascal, Storm, and Mischief. As time went on and the cubs began to grow, Maria began to suspect that they weren't normal dogs. They didn't look like regular canines as they were much larger, their teeth were much sharper, and they looked more wild all around. 
as well as that all of the local dogs would growl and bark at Teddy and the rest of the cubs when they walked past. Maria's suspicions were finally confirmed one day when a local hunter was walking past and saw the four canines playing together in her garden. He instinctively reached for his gun but was stopped when Maria asked him what he was doing. The hunter then told the elderly woman that the four animals she had weren't dogs at all but were actually wolves. Maria was shocked by the news, but she wasn't afraid. She loved all of her pups equally, no matter what, and they had never once shown aggression towards her, so she was not worried that they would hurt her. Maria and the four wolves continued to live happily for the next year. The canines were loyal to Maria and guarded the home just like a dog would. As fall came and the temperatures dropped, Maria and the wolves would happily spend their days inside the warm home. One cold fall evening, there was a knock on Maria's door. Wondering who it could be, the elderly woman opened the door only to be confronted by three strange men. One of the men was holding a gun, which he immediately pointed at Maria. He threatened that if she didn't hand over all of her money and valuables that she had in her home, that he would shoot her. The three men barged into Maria's home and began to make their way further in when they suddenly heard four loud growls. It turned out that with all of the noise that the men were making, they had woken up the four wolves that had been lying asleep in the living room. The canines realized that Maria was in danger and quickly jumped into action. With the men confused and scared of what was happening, mischief, rascal, and storm jumped at them and bit their legs and ankles. Meanwhile, Teddy ran over to Maria and jumped in front of her, protecting her from the man with the gun. While the wolves fought, the elderly lady snuck into her bedroom, where she called the police. Just as she finished on the phone, though, a gunshot rang out throughout the home, followed by an animal's cry. Maria rushed back into the living room, where she saw Teddy huddled on the floor with a bullet wound in his hind leg. One of the men had managed to get the gun and hurt the poor animal. Frightened by the noise of the weapon, the three men tried to make a run for it, but as they exited the house, they found themselves surrounded by police. They were quickly arrested, but Maria paid no attention to them as she was too focused on helping Teddy. Thankfully, she was able to get him some help, and the wound healed over the next few weeks. News of the four wolves' heroic deeds soon got around, but for Maria, their new fame didn't matter. She loved them just like she would any other dog, and they loved her just as much in return. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.